Uh, let's please welcome to the stage Greg Semler uh, talking about uh, renewable energy from existing water pipelines. 82% of energy produced in the United States comes from fossil fuels and nuclear power. What if we could produce renewable energy from existing infrastructure? And what if that renewable energy was consistent and reliable and low cost? And what if that renewable energy had no environmental impact? We can. In Pipe Energy is a renewable energy and smart water technology company that's developed a product that converts running water to electricity in existing and new gravity-fed water pipelines. Water is the most important resource on the planet. It's also the most energy intensive. The EPA estimates that energy costs for water alone in the United States are about 8%. And we've looked at a lot of energy costs for water agencies and they're rising two or three times what inflation is. So as the cost of water goes up, it, it's really driven a lot by energy. Our customers are the largest users of water on the planet, agricultural users, industrial users, and cities who can use our product to reduce their operating costs, hedge against the future costs of energy, and participate in a grid based on renewable energy. Water infrastructure has been around since the Greeks. It really hasn't changed all that much. Typically what happens is people who manage water pump the water up the hill at night, store it in a reservoir when energy costs are low, and then they deploy it during the day taking advantage of gravity. The water flows through pipes to homes and factories throughout a city. Embedded in these pipes are valves. We call these valves pressure reducing valves or control valves. And they basically make sure that in the morning, when you take a shower, the pressure comes out at the right pressure. Water agencies live for that experience. The valves work really well, but in do so doing, they waste energy. They control pressure, but they waste energy. In-pipe energy has developed a product that water agencies can use that allows them to use their existing infrastructure exactly the way that it is and to control pressure but instead of wasting that energy to produce highly efficient renewable energy. The system itself connects to the grid just like a solar system does, just the way the electric utilities want it to be. And it's a source of local renewable energy that water agencies can take advantage of, not only to reduce their operating costs, but also to be greener. We validated our technology, uh, building two full-scale working prototypes at Oregon State University. We proved that we could uh, uh, accurately control pressure and efficiently produce renewable energy. We're actively talking to customers uh, about deploying the system, and we expect to have our first system up and running by the end of the year. And uh, we've had a lot of really uh, tremendous um, feedback from water agencies who are interested in this. We often get compared to three different sources of renewable energy. The first one being traditional sources of renewable energy like wind and solar. And wind and solar are great, but they're weather dependent. That means that they're very variable, they're unpredictable. Water flowing through pipelines is known. They know where that water is, where it's been hour by hour for the last 20 years and where it's going forward. So it's a very predictable, reliable source of energy. And because the water is flowing so often, it really drives the economics for these projects. These projects have the same economics as hydroelectricity. They're about one fourth the cost of solar and wind projects. So the energy cost for this kind of energy is substantially lower. Hydroelectricity is known as the lowest cost source of electricity, and we share the same economics as hydroelectricity. But because of the scale that we're doing it at, environmentalists embrace what we're doing as opposed to oppose it. And the third source of, uh, of competition uh, or that we get compared to is hydrokinetics. And that's the idea that water moving in rivers, streams, irrigation canals, and waterfalls all have energy embedded. But the challenge there is that water is so sensitive to regulation, it's really difficult to get projects done. So we're doing everything we can to build on existing infrastructure. We're permitting as easy and where costs are low. 
So if you're interested in infrastructure, renewable energy, you're an investor, let's talk and let's see how we can collaborate. Thank you.